My heart goes out to the victims of this latest terrible shooting in Connecticut. Already, though, there's a lot of uh, politicians and news outlets that begin to speak of what we can do about these terrible shootings and killings that go on way too often. There's already talk of gun control, passing a law to make it more difficult to own guns, or out, outlawing guns altogether. You know, with that, I remind people that the greatest attack on this country, 9-11, not a f shot was fired. When Timothy McVeigh took down that building in Oklahoma City, not a shot was fired. John Wayne Gacy, Jeffrey Dahmer, Ted Bundy, Boston Strangler, on and on and on, not a shot was fired. You can't pass a law that will take care of evil or evil in a person's heart. I've never understood how these people can do these terrible acts, but they do and they're probably going to continue to do them with or without guns. The one thing you won't hear though is what I believe may be the, the best power that we would have over the next mass shooting. And it's this, it's not a, a law on gun control, it's not a law dealing with school security, absolute no laws come to think of it. It's dealing with the mind and the psychology. You see, we live in the reality TV generation. We live in the time when everybody wants their moment of fame. And I believe a lot of these shooters, I mean, when you think about a guy that can go in and shoot kids like that, you just can't fathom where that comes from, but I have no doubt in my mind that one thing they're thinking about is making a huge splash at the end of their life, making a name that all of their enemies and the people that have bullied them, the people that have treated them bad, they're saying, you know what, I'll show you, I'll be famous, and I'll leave this earth with a name that will never be forgotten. I think psychologically, that's a lot about what's going on. So my answer is this. The first place I would start is for the press, not a law, but they would just get together, the newspapers, radios, televisions, and they would decide that for here on, because there's going to be another mass killing, always has been, there will be another. They need to agree, the next one, the name will never be mentioned. The family will never be identified publicly. Everything about the shooter or the killer will never, not a word will be mentioned. And then at least the next guy that may be coming along thinking about he's going to make a name for himself will go, well, wait a second, if the press has agreed to say nothing, there's going to be no name, no notoriety that I will gain. And maybe, just maybe, that will stop the next one, or at least one, and lives can be saved. Let's not get crazy thinking that laws can handle evil. It just can. Maybe we could just get smart for once, and I hope the press will get the message.